Uh, please put a star and a heart beside that this question. What does a star and a heart beside a question mean? Does they have a five minute test? This will be on your test, I guarantee you tomorrow. Okay, I guarantee you. The very last question. So it says, Jeremy has a job earning 10 bucks an hour. After 35 hours, he earns time and a half. I like, guess someone who is tremendously brave, what does time and a half mean and how much will he earn? Go ahead. Um, it's uh, you have 35, so actually it's 35 left. No. She said 35 times 1.5, no. What's the, it's 10 because 35 this is your hours, right? So what we're going to be, it's going to be 10 times 1.5 equals 15, which is your salary. For over 25 hours. Okay, letter. Okay, ladies. Okay. Uh, letter B says make a table of values to show his earnings for 0, 35, and 50 hours. Okay, so this is another table of values question. I'm going to make a first one is going to say hours. And then we're going to do something like probably earnings, if that makes sense. And then I'll do good. Now let's sum it up over there. Okay, let's start with the easy one. Jeremy, let's start with you since this is the easy one. Jeremy, you work zero hours. How much money do you make? Zero dollars, easy enough. As I'm going to call that zero times ten, and I'll put it in there to be consistent. Zero times ten, which is going to be zero dollars. And that's unfortunately the way the world works. If you do not work, unless you own a business, you do not get any money. 35 hours. Clean, I'm sorry, you're back in the line of fire. 35 hours. How did I pick up for 35? Uh, not careful. So you think zero is going to be your hours and 10 is going to be your money, right? So in this case, with the 35 hours, the only time you do the 1.5 will be above 35, right? So up to 35 is your set. 35 times 10. Kara, can you get your calculator, please? What is 35 times 10? So far, so good? Okay. So, is someone okay so far? Except unless you have a bad sneeze, but for everyone else. Michaela, can you be brave? 50 hours. What do we do? So she said 50 times 10. 50 times 10 would mean the entire 50 hours for earning the regular salary. How much is earning regular salary? Okay, guys, please focus here, guys. Please focus. How much is earning regular salary? 35 hours, regular salary. How much is it overtime? So if there's 35, that is, if there's 35 hours of regular, how do we get the overtime list? So I work 50 hours. Yeah, go ahead. 15 hours. Where do you get 15 hours from? Yeah. So this is your learning. This is just gotten by 50 minus 35, right? So 50 hours altogether, 35 you already earned. There's 15 left. So 15 plus 50. That should be 575. If you guys can confirm that for me, I'd be very happy. That was done in my head, so I couldn't know. It's not, but it should be. Okay, please ask. Please ask. So this one's going to be on tomorrow. I'm going to do yes. Yes. I want a real question about that. But. Okay, letter C says graph this equation. I'm crazy about graphs here. Okay. I'm going to save this. Any other questions before I keep moving here? Okay, we're okay. I have a lot of silence today. You guys all right? I heard that sneeze. I'm just tired. Yeah, you do. do you hear that sneeze? That was ridiculous. I'm a, 
or just went away. Yeah, I did so. Okay, zero and three fifty. I think we remove this. Jeremy, we're good. We're scribbled almost. Um, so the next thing we're going to do here is we said to graph this one. Okay. So we're going to have hours, and this is just my own chart. Zero was zero, uh, thirty-five was three fifty, and fifty was five seventy-five. Is that right? I think that was right. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm going to do this instead of x and y. I'm going to do this with this is my hours. And this is going to be my money. <laughs> okay, now this is the thing for this type of question here. What should, now the thing is, I have to get all the way up to 50. Okay, please can we do this? I have to get all the way up to 50. What should I probably count by? It makes sense. What makes sense to count by? Five would make sense to me. So I had to count by five, so I'm just going to go five, zero, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. So what I did, I counted every other, so it stretch out, I counted every other row being five. I got fifty. Now as far as money, this is a little bit more difficult. And I got to 575. Any suggestions what I can count by here? 25 would probably make sense, okay? So I maybe just want to count every four. I'm just going to go 100. <coughs> 1, 2, 3, 100. 1, 2, 3, 200. 1, 2, 3, 300. 1, 2, 3, 400. 1, 2, 3, 500. Now the point that I want to make, the, the data has to fit on the graph, so you can change your scale. And good, good suggestions by the two volunteers there. Okay, every one up until the top is 25. It gets with and left and right. I did every other one is five. Now treat this like your x. Your hours are on the bottom, so I'm going to do zero goes to zero, right here. So this is where you can use a ruler. Mr. Sarah doesn't have one unfortunately today. 35 was up to 350. And 50 goes to 575. And this could be the tricky part. Just on the right part. So please be brave and ask this question there. So again, I just got the points right from here. Your hours is on your axis. Your money is like on your wire, up and down. Now, if you say, Mr. Saddler, I don't know why that is, I would do it the other way, that's fine. I did not say what is X and what is Y. If you want to graph, you know, money on the bottom and hours on the top, I'm not too picky with that. All right, now this is the key to this question, though. So if you're fading out, I want to, I want everyone just to focus here for one sec. Okay, can I have put it on the pencil for one sec, please? Okay, this is the key to this question. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Will this be a straight line? This is the key to this question. Will this be a straight line? No, sort of, but not really. Why is it not going to be a straight line? Do that? Once it's going to be straight up to 35, if I can do my phone, I'll put it, please be straight. Wait, it's going to be straight up to 35, but then after that, take a look, it rocks up. Okay? That's because, like, the money, that's the overtime that the money went up. Everyone see that? That's why this is called piecewise, this is the change rate, because the slope is going to go at one point, <coughs> and it'll pick up. We're okay on that difference? So if you graph this as a completely straight line, it's incorrect. It's straight up until 35. Right, because then again, this is going to be 35 and uh, oh, 350. And then 
this should be 50. Because you don't like it. How's that video?